Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. When the Secretary of Homeland Security stands up and says there is no separation policy, yet we see something else happening and we hear accounts of it happening, and then just days later, there's an admission that it happened, you're darn right I'm gonna take my job as a member of Congress to do oversight on these agencies. It is outrageous that the briefing we had the other day was not even public. The American people are outraged, and I'm talking about people regardless of party, regardless of color, are outraged that children are being separated at the border, and they want to know what Congress is doing about it. What do I say? Well, geez, we can't even have a public hearing on this. It's a closed session. It's not public. They want to know the answers. They want to hear what happened the other day right here. I sat right here and asked a question about children who were being processed at CBP. They couldn't answer the question what the youngest person is. Why did I ask a question? Because I want to know if kids who are two years old can defend themselves in court. Apparently, the administration believes that can be done. Mm -hmm. When I went down to the south border, we got there and we were told there are no parents at this facility that were separated from their children. That's what I was told. If I just believed it, I would have stopped. But I was actually helping three mothers in that facility that were separated from their children. So I challenged them with facts that I had. And all of a sudden, what happened? Oh, well, actually, yeah, there are some parents here that are separated from their children. It's less than 15. So what did I learn in law school? Go and get the facts, get the data. And as the oversight committee here, we deserve to see what those guidelines are and what those policies are. 